It's your boy Mac the Wise Soul, your home for sneakers and sports. Hey, so we're here. AFC North Time, the best division in the AFC, going to be a dog fight. Let's get right into it. And hey, Pittsburgh Steelers Nation, I'm sorry, you're coming in dead last. I don't see any other way around it. I love Coach Tomlin. Yeah, you got Russell Wilson as your quarterback. Justin Fields is the backup. Will Justin Fields ever develop into anything? Who knows? Take care of him, Pittsburgh. That's all I can ask. Just take care of him. But Russell Wilson hasn't done anything in three seasons. He's not going to do anything now in Pittsburgh. So the Steelers, you're coming in last. I know you got TJ Watt. I know you got Mika Fitzpatrick. You're still going to be a 500 team. And in this division, that's going to be good enough for last place. Now, coming in third. Now, third, second, and first in my opinion, might only be separated by two games this season. So I think I do think these three teams will make the playoffs in whatever order it happens. But in my predictions, I'm going third place, the Cleveland Browns. Can Deshaun Watson finally get it together and return to the form he had before the massages and all that stuff down at Houston? You know, you know what happened. I don't know, but their defense is going to be hell. The defense in Cleveland is going to be hell. But will it be good enough to win the division? I don't think so, but we're definitely going to find out. They got them coming in third in the AFC North. Now, second place, AFC North, the Cincinnati Bengals. Joe Burrow is back. Hey, and that's all they really need, man. The Jamar Chase contract situation um, as of this recording, he still has a sign yet. So will he be there week one? I anticipate he will be. The Bengals get their quarterback. Their offense is going to be solid. They did lose Joe Mixon, but I think they'll be okay. Defensively, the Cincinnati Bengals are highly underrated. Zach Taylor, their head coach, he's solid. I'm not the biggest fan of Zach Taylor, but he's good enough. He's good enough. He's good enough for Cincinnati. Let's just say that. So I got the Bengals because of Joe Burrow coming in second in the AFC North. And that leads us to the division winner, the Baltimore Ravens. Lamar Jackson gets it done again. And at no surprise, they added Derrick Henry to improve the running game. I think Derrick Henry might not have a lot left, but he has enough left to make that offense to another level. He really does. He's going to pound the rock. Pause, no ditty. He is going to be a problem there. With Lamar, man, Lamar might just let that ball go. He ain't even going to keep it on some of them fakes. But when he does, you're not going to expect it, and that's going to open Lamar up on the running game even more. I'm really excited about that. They got Zay Flowers. I'm a huge Zay Flowers fan. I think he's going to have a big jump this year. Really excited about that. Mark Andrews comes back. He didn't really have a healthy year last season. He should be fully healthy this year, hopefully, and he balls out for Baltimore. So that's going to be another weapon for Lamar. I do think the Ravens win the division, and I think they're definitely one of the best contenders in the AFC to take out the Chiefs. But, hey, at this point, we're just talking about divisions. So I'm going with the Ravens, the Bengals, Browns, followed by the Steelers coming in last. Let me know in the comments how you feel about the AFC North predictions. What are your predictions for the division? Who do you have? Let me know in the comments below. Anyway, don't forget, stay humble, stay hungry, stay wise, gang.